Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and Georgia Giraffe is with us today and he's going to look at this one which is issue number 242 two, two. I'll put 142 but it's actually 242 two of the Imagine Effects magazine for September 2024 and I'm excited for this one but it's going to be about in the last issue it said it's going to be about indie game art I'm quite excited, but these are the issues so far that we've had. It's been a really cool year for covers, and the issues have been brilliant as well. But my favourite covers so far are these two. I haven't decided yet which is my all-time favourite, but I also love this one. If it was a, um, if it had been a subscriber cover, I would have loved that one. These are cool. So let's have a look at this one. Georgia Giraffe is going to get us in. The question is, can this one beat these covers? That's the first question. There's going to be a green theme. So the cover artist is Super Giant Games. Hades 2, Super Giant Games. Da, da, da. Ooh, I like the style of that. But I can already tell these are still my two favourites. That is a very strange colour combination. It reminds me of Chewitz <laughs> from the like the 80s or 90s. I used to eat there's these sweets, these Chewitz. There was a packet of Chewit, I think it was apple flavour. For some reason that's just made me think of that. The purple and green. It's a very cool colour combination actually. Yeah, you don't very often get a green spine like that. So I'm excited for this one. We've got three characters on the front. Who's my favourite character on that? Well, it's that one. Yeah. Yeah, but the thing, look, they've got different coloured eyes there. Look. And I like the way there's they're coming out of like the smoke or something. But I'm not really in love with these characters. That's what I think. But I like the art style. So George Giraffe he's got us in. Here's Rob. Gets a little kiss. Rage against the machine. Looks. Does anything pop out at me? Oh yeah. Look, that's weird, isn't it? That, for me, would have been a much more cleaner cover. If they'd gone with that as the cover, it would have been fighting for top spot. I think maybe what it is, is these these two characters here are actually distracting. Yeah, I think it's, it would have been better with one character. Look, the shape of destiny. That art studio space looks nice as well. Something about graphite, drawing in graphite. This would be interesting, this one. Dinosaurs. The next one's going to be all about dinosaurs. And that's actually coming out when I'm recording this. The next issue is actually due in a couple of days' time. So it's, I can't... I love dinosaurs. <laughs> Might have to get Dave the Dragon out for that one. Because he, he likes his... He likes his um, dinosaurs into the FX Pose section. Sexy. That's what springs to mind. Look at her, look at her bum look. Look at the way the lighting is on her bum. That's cool that is. And I like the way these little goblins are there. <laughs> sexy. Yeah, sexy. That's what springs to mind. We've got sexy. What word would I use for these? Stylized. Sexy, stylized. <laughs> well, the word that sprung to mind um, is boring, but it's only because I don't. I'm not really into um, environments. It's a shame, really, because uh, you've got little characters there. Yeah, I I just love. I like me characters more than environment. What word would I use for that? Epic. 
that's, that's the word that popped into my head. Like that. You can ride in Dragon's Dogma, you could ride those sort of creatures. What word for this one? Well, nature, that's what come up. I like this one. Look, they're going through a swamp. Going through like a swamp or something. Hmm. Oh yeah, look at that. Look, 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 little um little claws. <laughs> I like that character as well. That's the rookies. Artists stand up for their rights against AI threats. I wonder what Imagine FX magazine think about um AI art. Do you think they include it include it in their magazines? I wonder. I think I remember actually a few issues ago there was a there was some AI art because I I remember thinking oh it's cool and then I thought ah oh, it's AI art and then I thought to myself well why should it not be cool just because it's AI art? But it's quite hard to say that AI art. I like this little guy. It's cool he does. Look. So these are all being created with AI art or something. Probably, I suppose. I haven't really looked into it. I just I'm not I'm not really um that's Bomberman, isn't it? Yeah, Bomberman look. Final Fantasy. Mega Man. Sonic the Hedgehog and Mega Man look. <laughs> Oh, Spyro. Hey, Golden Axe. That's Conker. Conker Bad Fair Day. These are cool. Yay. Yuko Smith's art studio. What I, what I like about this is it looks very spacious and yet at the same time there's so much stuff in here. I think there's too much stuff in there maybe. For me. Look at all these books, look. Graphic novels, these are. Oh, cool. That's nice. Hmm. It's cool, isn't it? He looks like a very... He looks like a very nice... Nice guy, he does. Yeah, I reckon he's just absolutely living a very blissful life. That's what I've... Letters. Oh, look. <laughs> he's cool. The Art of Hades. Yeah, that is a very... That would have been out of a cool cover if they'd gone with that. That's a nice character. Is that the same character? Yeah. She looks a lot more um, sort of friendly and sensitive here. In this one she looks a bit aggressive. But I like her more sweet. Like that. We've got some monsters here as well. Look, look at that. <laughs> yeah. She... Uh, I don't like her looking like that. I think she looks like she should look more friendly. That's what I think. The shape of destiny. The final shape. I actually work with somebody who's put in like thousands and thousands of hours on, on destiny. All they play is destiny. So it's, uh, It must be cool to be able to um, fall in love with a game that much that you don't need nothing else. I, I think I, pl I played the original Destiny for about an hour or something. But I'm not, I'm not really into first person shooters. The Art of Ben Morrow. What an interesting um, character design. Yeah, very 
interesting. Mm. That's nice. 15 tips to shape your characters. See, this will be a good one to, to read, this one. Big, middle, small. <laughs> Top, middle or bottom. And what is a hot spot? Not a good spot. Hello. <laughs> I like that character. Would you like to have four arms? Would you rather have four arms or four legs? I'd rather have four arms, I think. That'd be, yeah, I wonder if you could independently... How would that work? Do you think you would have a brain for each ha for each set of hands or something? Because if you were drawing with that, with that hand, how would you also draw with the other hand? Can you draw with both hands at the same time? I'm not sure. Try this. Look, that is look. That is lovely. That 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 lighting is very much like um James Gurney. That is cool. Create a dark fantasy concept. See, I'm not into environments, but I love that. Huh? That is cool. Look at the size of these um, statues. Look, a little man there. That's what I mean. Every so often in the um, environment, I love it. So that must mean it's really special. That is cool. I'd actually like to walk around there. You just wonder what's in there, don't you? 3D models for reference. Develop drama with contrast. Oh look, they changed the... Um... Not sure what's happening there. Hmm. Very, um, I like the way they've done that. Like the characters, like I like the way they've done that. Really pops. <laughs> Fatty. That's is that octopus man or something from um? I'm not sure. Spider Man. No. Octopus. Doctor Octo. Doctor Octopus. <laughs> no. Don't know. He reminds me a bit of um Doctor Robotnik from Sonic. Oh, I want to see that one. Yay! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tamara Nedekun. Cool. Oh, look. That's my sort of um, art style, that is. Cool characters and lovely style as well. They're done with... Oh, they're done with... Um, well, probably Copics. Might not be. Done with um, markers. Yay, these are nice as well. <laughs> Look, they're all running across the land. Going off on an adventure. Oh, there's a funness to these. <laughs> Draw a scene in graphite. That reminds me of the bloke from um, Star Fox. Froggy. Mm, I like that. Add an aged effect. Yeah, they added, um, they must have done that in um, digital. Hmm. Planet. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Dun dun dun! And that's another one. That was issue number 242 of the Imagine Effects magazine, which I think was for September. Is it September? 
I think this is a September issue. I really hope you enjoyed that. That is amazing. I think my favourite thing in here is actually this one. Yeah, that's cool that was. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And I shall see you later for another one.